Please put your hands together for Mr. Rob Clifford, ladies. That's right, I'm white. Let's get over it. <laughs> How are you, white people? Fuck. White people always gotta sit up front. Glad to see me, eh? I was coming to the whole fucking right one of us. Good, no more fucking beef patty jokes. Go home and mow, whatever they say. Fucking blood clot. Whatever that is. I love you guys. Dawson Creek, everybody, give it up. I do, I do comedy a lot, man. I, you know, I did some, this is a nice gig. It shows up in Sudbury. You ever been to Sudbury, sir? It's a fucking hell town. It's a small town of 500 people, man. They had a strip joint. I mean, another comedian decided to go inside left right away. You heard this bullshit. All right, guys, your next lady on stage, give it up for Earl's wife. <laughs> Margaret, get the fuck on down here. Yeah. Bullshit. It's not all glamour. It's not HBO. You got a piece of shit car. Anybody else ride to the show tonight via prayer? Just me? You know what I'm you know what want? My car is a 91 to sell. Came with a bus pass. You ever see those pieces of shit? I know, you see, I know when you see us, you drive by on the fucking shoulder and you see us there. You always give us that look like, I'm <laughs> sucks to be that fucking guy. <laughs> I know one of those guys with the souped up Honda Civics. What do you call them? Uh, assholes. You ever see those guys? These fucking assholes. This guy pulls up beside me at a red light and starts looking at me like, you want a race? Like where? To the fucking shop? Where am I going? I'm lucky I made this light. I got my car souped up one time, buddy. You know what I did? Got my brakes fixed. It's fucking sweet. I was stopping for a week. I was like, look at that. Seatbelt works. Look at that. Like, kid gets to live, get the fucking school, buddy. We got any Italians here tonight? <laughs> Holy shit, they're in the fucking mob protection program. <laughs> we're here, but we're not really fucking here. <laughs> Shut your mouth, Vinny. <laughs> you gotta love Italians, man. You do, man, I love them, man. They made their own area. That's pretty cool. Jamaicans all moved to Jane and Finch, but it's still not fucking called Little Jamaica. <laughs> the Italians pulled some shit off, didn't they? If we move over here, that's gonna be Little Italy, eh? You have a problem with this, sir? Eh? Okay, we put the sign over there, eh? And Toronto's like, alright, yeah, fuck Little Italy, sure. Sure, Vince. It's a Vincenzo, eh? Hot sucker, son of a bitch. I like Italians, man, because they came to Canada in the 60s and they made their mark. Thank you. Give it up for him. That was kind of creepy, though. Eh? Whoa! This guy lost it over the joke. It's fucking funny, yo. I like Italians, man, because they came to Canada in the 1960s and they made their mark right away. They did. Immigration looked at them and said, Italians, you stay right here. We'll be with you in five minutes. They turned around five minutes later, half of Woodbridge was fucking built. <laughs> they start freaking out. Hey, what are you guys doing? You can't just start building shit. Hey, signore, we just wanted to show you what are we going to do. <laughs> you send us back to Italy now, who's going to finish all this, eh? Suck at a son of a bitch. <laughs> that time I'm working very hard over here. You know the Italian guy? Yeah. Anybody else been made to feel like a piece of shit? If you know all the Italian guys, it doesn't matter what you say or what you know. If you don't understand what they're saying, you're a fucking idiot. That's the bottom line. That's how they talk to you. But I work for this old Italian guy, man. He used to freak out all the time, man. You know, and it didn't matter that that English was broken. I was a fucking idiot. Yeah. Rob, come here, one second, please. Uh -huh. yeah. Rob, uh, I see you working very hard over here, right? Because you sweat like this. Uh -huh. I'm working very hard. I know, I know. But uh, over here, you have this one. Okay? Okay. Over here, that's you got this one. You got this one. 
and you got this one. How come you got two one? Cock sucker, son of a bitch. Because you don't want to learn. Can I teach you to do nothing? You get your friends saying stupid shit. Do anybody ever hear this advice? It's better to have loved and lost than to never have been loved at all. What a crock of shit, eh? That's like saying it's better to have been stabbed than recovered. Than to never have been stabbed at all, right? Yeah, because you're a warrior now. Yeah. You made it through the shit. Thank you, miss. Confirming the humor of my joke. No, he's right. It is funny. I happen to know that it's personally true. It's correct. Women love to cuddle too, right guys? Let's hear the guys clap and let's hear the guys clap for cuddling. Notice the lack of enthusiasm, ladies. Look, clapping for Women love to cuddle. The women in the room clap. Let's let's do a test. Women in the room clap. If you genuinely love to cuddle, you don't have to have sex, but you love it just to be held and all that shit. <laughs> Not you, sir. I said women. You guys always love to cuddle, man. It's always the same shit. Let's just cuddle, the guys. Let's just fuck. <laughs> Now let's just cuddle. Let's just have sex, man. We can do the cuddling after. No, I don't want to. It's okay for you guys, man. Cuddling's all right for you, you know? It's good for you guys. But, you know, for a guy, it's like taking his dick window shopping. Dude, look at that, man. There's pussy right there. Oh, I get paid on Friday? I'm gonna get that shit. Fucking dick it, man. For now, I'm just gonna hang outside the shop. I touch the glass every now and then. Because I want them to know I'm here. I'm here for them. It's all right for women cuddling, man. You know what it's like, though, for us, man? It's like going to the club and just hanging out in the lineup. You're like, fuck, I can smell the music, I can hear the drinks, I can... What do I gotta fucking stay outside? That's right, I said, you smell the music. I did it on purpose, you fuckers. It was not the weed. Fuck off. Coffee. I heard this on the documentary. Coffee is a drug. That shit made me piss my fucking pants laughing. Because, you know, in my neighborhood, I grew up on Weston Road. And if you don't know Weston Road, let me tell you something. Coffee is not a drug. <laughs> Crack is a fucking drug. You know, and I've never seen someone end up on the streets giving blowjobs for a medium double-double. <laughs> I've never seen a coffee whore <laughs> hanging outside of Tim Hortons. <laughs> I do you for a sip. I'm fucking really sleepy. I'll roll up your room. <laughs> obvious everywhere she goes. It was the first black woman I met who was like kind of blonde. Okay. I like the Chinese immigrants, man. They're cool, man. They're not cool because you'll learn something from them. Don't hate them. You'll learn something from them, man. Sometimes it's funny, man, because they'll just, you know, they have this little thing that they do. I call it the nervous laugh. Everybody in this room has probably seen the nervous laugh at least once. And the reason they do it is because they're self-conscious of their English. But it always makes me feel like I'm being tricked. I would walk up to this Chinese guy on the street, hey buddy, you got the time? Go to this guy, hang on, fold it, hang on, thank you. What the fuck you laughing? <laughs> now I can't trust Chinese salesmen. I'm like, nice watch, is this real gold? Haha, <laughs> sure. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. This is number one quality. My name is Rob Clifford. Thanks for having me.